Okay, at the start of tutorial number two, we are going to be looking at uh, controls for the roll signs, controls for the IBIS, I believe it's called, uh, system which controls the automated route signs, the manual ticket system, and the automatic ticket system. Um, so, tutorial two is going to be a short one, but, uh, simple to learn and as long as you keep these in mind you should have no problem or little problems picking up passengers at the bus stops so let's get started what we're looking at here is one of the newest buses in the fleet the uh, MAN SD 92 I believe it is 96 as we see here this is the IBIS panel system it controls the electronic sign for the bus and what we're going to do is we're going to insert the line number and then the route number. The line number would be 07600. The route number would be 002 because we're going the opposite direction. As you can see, it automatically fills in the uh, sign outside the bus. In a moment, we will see the automated ticket system in action. At the next stop, someone will buy a ticket and you'll be able to see how it works. Enjoy. Okay, so we see here the automated ticket machine. Uh, the customer hands you the money, tells you what ticket they want as seen on the top left hand corner. All you have to do is look at the pad, find the corresponding ticket, which sometimes is easier said than done, as the abbreviations sometimes look the same as others. So you might end up picking the wrong one accidentally. When you pick the right one, you hit that button, the yellow button. You hit the long green button on the bottom right hand corner, out pops the ticket, the customer takes the ticket, and you give them their change if they get change back. And that's how that's how easy automated system is. Okay, here we see one of the older buses which has a control panel for the IBIS system. And however, this system does not control the manual roll signs. Um, the controls for the manual roll signs are actually up top, up here, um, in, the, in the, the roof here. You actually have to enter the correct numbers in order for the roll sign to change. Now you can enter information into the IBIS system, but it doesn't really do anything, so I don't really see the point of them adding the control panel to the older buses. Uh, I enter the correct information, and as you can see, it doesn't change anything. Now the signs don't bother changing at all. However, when we head back inside and use the top panel, um, the buttons on the right here would be the route number, which is 76 for the practice town. You can enter 76 and hit the green button. And then you have to enter the three digit line number, which would be 0, 0, Eight, then the green button, and as you can see, the manual roll signs begin to flip. They go to the correct location. As you can see now, the manual roll sign is in the correct location, which means when you pull up to your first bus stop, the passengers will be willing to get on. Do a quick drive, and we will see the manual ticket system in action. As you can see here, you do not have the automated ticket machine. You have a clipboard with tickets on it. So the passenger tells you what ticket they want. You read the names off the tickets as shown on the top left. You give them the correct ticket and then give them the change. It's that simple. There's nothing much to it. Um, there you go. So you it was tutorial two. You have seen the manual and automated route sign and how to set them up, and the manual and automated ticket system and how to handle the tickets to the passengers. I hope you enjoyed uh, the OMSI Omnibus Simulator Tutorial Part 2. Have a great day, YouTube.